Hello to everyone and anyone watching this video. My name is Taja. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am sad. Aww. Why am I sad? You may be wondering. Is it because we're still in a global panini bread and I haven't had my vaccine yet? <sighs> no. Is it because I'm 23 and I still haven't had a boyfriend? No. Is it because one of my favorite YouTubers, Best Dressed, hasn't posted in over four months? Yes. <laughs> You probably know who Best Dressed is. She is a YouTuber. She has, let me just find out, 3.77 million subscribers as of right now. And I don't know where she is. Have you seen her? Have you seen her? I haven't seen her. I've seen her on Instagram, but that's about it. And it's making me feel really upset because I miss her videos so much. I need it. I want it. I miss it. So Best Dressed is known for her fashion videos. She does a lot of thrift hauls, lookbooks, and of course her thrift flips, which is basically where she takes clothes that she got from thrift stores or whatever, and she makes them brand new. She fixes them and she puts her own little thrifty little spin on them. Since you've missed out on her content for so long, we're gonna have to find a replacement. And I feel like that replacement should be me Ew. do i have the fashion skills or the sewing skills or any sort of skill to be replacing her no but that's the point you see because wait for it guys wait for it i have a couple of pieces of clothes that need fixing right i have this dress that i bought last summer that i've not been able to wear it's not focusing but the sleeves are like messed up i also have these trousers that i wear like every day in the house and they have a massive coochie hole in it i also have this jacket, they've got like a massive hole in the sleeve. I did try to fix this a year ago or a couple years ago and obviously didn't work. Today's plan is to steal the whole of Best Dressed brand. I'm going to be thrift flipping these clothes. Thing is though, you can see with this, I can't sew and this is definitely not going to turn out well but that's good because my plan is right word will get around that i am coming for best dresses brand and then she will see this video and see how badly i am at thrift flipping my clothes and then she'll be like you know what what kind of ghetto shit is this let me return real quick let me take back my throne it's like reverse psychology you know what i mean and then who's gonna be the legend that brought back best dressed me bitch this I already had and this I already had from when I fixed my jacket a couple years ago. I also bought a red and black. Where's the black one? Where's the black one? Before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this to Best Dressed as well. Girl, if you're watching this, you have 24 hours to respond. So the first thing we're going to be starting off with are these. So I'm starting off with these because I feel like they'll be the easiest to do. I literally don't know what I'm doing. So I've got my thread here. I need to concentrate, so let me just put this on real quick. <gasps> I got it in. Sick. Love that for me. I manifested that. Not gonna lie, I did manifest that. Just like I'm manifesting best dress to return. <gasps> Guys, do you see that? Okay, you literally don't because it's out of focus, but I promise, like, it's like done. So that's sick. Okay, so let me chop off that a bit. <gasps> okay. If I'm just sitting here like sewing, it's gonna be kind of boring. So I thought it'd be fun if I just chat to you guys while I'm doing what I do. I can't really show you because I don't really want to show you because it's probably gonna look wrong. I'm gonna get dragged by fashion people. I'm not trying to get dragged today, you know? It's Wednesday morning, so let's not do that. Oh my God, also, it was her birthday yesterday. That's perfect because this is like a homage to her, you know? This is a, a gift to her, the gift of this awful video, which will then motivate her to come back also she's a taurus any other tauruses watching this video we won so we're basically the same person though right so she's a taurus i'm a taurus i'm basically best dressed seeing as this video is dedicated to best dressed i want to talk about her specifically the whole situation with her going and what i think of it as well as what i think about all the videos that came out about her being problematic and stuff you can probably tell by this video but obviously i don't think she's problematic. I remember the first video that came out about her was the one about, oh god, what have I done? That's not enough string. Oh, oh fuck. I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up already. Shit, shit. Okay, whatever, it's fine. It's not fine, but it's fine. I remember the first video came out that I started this, and it was funny because like, I went back on that channel that started it, and like, that's the only video they posted. They just came onto YouTube, they made that video, ruined the stressed reputation, and then just dipped. But 
you did this for what? I don't even remember what they said to be honest in that original video and I don't really care. This is the thing with me. I feel like that video was really unfair if I'm completely honest. This is not how you sew. What am I doing? Did she deserve all those, oh dear, I broke it. Did she deserve all those videos that like came out about her? I personally don't think so. I watched like pretty much all of them, not because I agreed, just because, you know, I'm, I'm the sort of person that I like to not be biased. You know, if someone's done wrong, doesn't matter how much I love them. From what I remember, the things that people said about her, there's only like a few things I actually thought, okay, this was a bit maybe not very good. The main things was the Amazon situation, which, you know, seeing as she like talks about sustainability and like thrifting and stuff, that wasn't obviously, you know, great. The selling of the PR, I feel like... Mm. I don't know at what point she was selling PR. If she's at this stage where she's like, you know, sis is making bank, you know what I mean? I think that would be bad. But I feel like when she was doing that, she maybe wasn't making as much money. I don't know at what point she was selling her PR. It might have been when she wasn't as big on YouTube. Oh god, this is really bad. Okay, this is what I've sewed. It looks like a rope. That is not correct. That is not correct. There was also that video she did, which I feel like the only thing in that video that was wrong was the fact that she made a joke about coronavirus, which I think that given that people are dying from it and stuff, that was maybe not very, you know, wise of her. And then the whole like blowing out the candle thing, like it's a fucking birthday cake. So what she what she meant to do? But also I get that obviously, you know, pandemic, maybe blowing out a candle wasn't the wisest. But I'm gonna assume that she had the common sense to get a test before she did that. I don't know. And if she didn't, then like, it's, I guess it's a bit shitty. But basically, I feel like the whole comments about her like romanticizing the pandemic, I don't think she was. I made a pandemic video a couple of months ago, right? When I was making it, I was thinking about best dress video in the back of my head and how like much like shit she got for it because i was scared that people think i'm doing the same thing that's why i was really careful to mention like not just my problems but like the world problems in my video at the end of the day yes the pandemic is killing loads of people and destroying loads of people's lives like directly but like people are getting affected by the pandemic without like you know getting ill and stuff and i think it's unfair that when someone says oh you know i'm struggling with the pandemic because you know i've been in my house and i haven't seen my friends and i you know didn't get to have a graduation and my last year of university was ruined immediately coming with that to say oh but people are dying that's not right i don't think in my opinion i don't think that's very fair just because you're not dying from something it doesn't mean you're not suffering it's like the equivalent of like if someone's broken their arm and then someone like has to get it amputated the person who broke their arm even if like that's not permanent and their arm's gonna be like unbroken eventually but like that person's arm's still in pain just because someone else's arm is gonna get amputated it doesn't mean that person who broke their arm like they're not suffering either the suffering that everyone's experienced is very very relative and i think that everyone suffered in some way shape or form with best stress obviously like yeah she's very privileged she has a job where she wasn't really majorly affected by the pandemic she lives in a nice city and stuff but like she didn't live alone and you know she was stuck in a small apartment not seeing anyone it's been hard for everybody she's a film graduate best dresses content is always going to be aesthetic that's what she's known for and i don't think she was wrong to like make it that way she was just expressing herself do you know what i mean did i romanticize the pandemic by making my video just because i made it like oh god where's the pin gone okay just because i made my video artsy and i called it a short film no because i was expressing myself you know i wrote what i wrote and i felt it and you know maybe i made it pretty but like it doesn't take away the bad things from it i don't know if i'm making any sense but i feel like it was just it was quite unfair how people came for her like that once that first video came out people just started to jump on the bandwagon and i honestly feel like that's partly the reason why she's left no taking a break because she's coming back when she sees this video oh, what the actual hell am I doing? I don't know. She probably like saw all the videos or like at least heard of them and it probably hurt her feelings because if people are making a bunch of videos about me being problematic and questioning my character, I would feel really sad. And the thing is, a lot of the comments were not even like nice comments. They were just very nitpicky. Obviously, I don't know the girl. In my head, we're best friends, but I don't actually know her. But 
I think she's she seems like a really nice girl, like a really fun girl, and I feel like she did not deserve the hate she got at all. She's very young as well. She's the same age as me. In my head, I'm still 17. I'm a fucking idiot. So having so much pressure and stuff, like it's hard. I know I'm not excusing the shitty things she did, like like I said, the Amazon thing and reselling her PR. Like that wasn't very cool of her. I don't think it's healthy to like defend people when they've done wrong. Like if someone's done wrong, you should hold them accountable, especially if they're your faves. If you care about them, surely you'd want them to do well or you want them to be a better person but like oh 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 i got it again did i get it again yes bitch that's what i'm talking about but i do think it just went overboard and it went out of hand people started jumping on the bandwagon and we're just hating her for no reason basically and i just think it's really unfair there's another hole here so i'm gonna stop talking now and i'm gonna finish up and then i'll see you when i'm finished these pair of trousers So that's the finished job. You can probably see just how bad that looks. Oh my god! What is that? And this is definitely gonna fall apart again. Ashley, this is your fault. I blame these on you. I want a new pair of trousers if these fall apart. Not my fault. I take zero responsibility. We're gonna move on to the next item now. So I've got this lovely dress from PLT. So like I said, the dress, I got it from Depop. I didn't actually get it from Pretty Little Thing directly because I don't support fast fashion. Queen of sustainability. No, seriously, the planet is dying. So I'm trying not to um, engage in fast fashion as much as possible. Anyway, so I got this from Depop and the seller was really like disrespectful and like ripped me off and I thought she could give this to me. Literally hanging on by a thread. This is gonna be quite difficult because this is like stretchy, but I'm quite a smart gal. I'm literally so scared I'm gonna lose this pain and then I'm gonna like sit on it. Could you imagine the pain? Not as painful as the pain I feel knowing that their stress hasn't posted in over four months though. So my voice is really annoying today as well, so sorry about that. Oh yeah, I'm really good at this. Oh my God. Yes. Okay. <gasps> I got cocky there. I got cocky. That's what happens when you're cocky. Okay, let me try again. Pick yourself up and try again. Oh my god. When I was at my birthday celebration last week, Leah was playing and it made me so sad. Not that I like particularly knew of Leah. I mean, she died when I was like a babe. Was she even? I think she died in the early 2000s, right? So I literally didn't really know of her when I was a child. So like her death didn't affect me. I didn't even know that many of her songs to be honest. I only knew like three or four maybe. But like when I hear that song more than a woman, it actually makes me really sad. I don't know what it is. Maybe the fact that she died. It's just so sad when people die, don't you think? See, this is what happens when you're cocky. Now I can't get it in. That's what he said. I'm doing really well at this whole best dress thing. The sexual jokes and the really talented stitch work. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> The fact that it was like perfectly in. Yes, okay, we're in. We're in guys. That's also what he said <laughs> eventually. I think I'm gonna start by sewing on the black bits because as you can see, the black bits are like off. So I'm gonna sew on the black bits back onto the sleeve. I'm gonna do it by like pulling it so it's like stretched and then sewing it on. And then obviously when it like springs up, it'll be like stretchy and then sew it onto this bit so there's no hole here. I sound really professional right now. Maybe I know what I'm doing. Let's talk about myself. I think I'm done talking about best dress. This is the point where everyone leaves now because no one gives a shit about me. Let's just do a life update. I'm from the UK and in the UK, lockdown's kind of over. Like obviously there's still social distancing but like outdoor stuff is open back up so there's like restaurants open and like cafes and stuff but it's only allowed if it's outdoor seating but that's honestly better than nothing i personally haven't gone to a bar or a pub yet not because i don't want to just because i haven't had time i'm a busy girl but i'm so excited i definitely want to go do something either this or next weekend i'm not sure on i think it's the 17th of may though that things are open properly properly where like you can go inside and stuff which to be honest i think it's partly why i've not gone out for like drinks and stuff is because everything's outdoor and like i'm from the uk like i said so it's cold here i'm not trying to catch pneumonia do you know what i mean it's may and i'm still having to wear a scarf what kind of ghetto shit is that this is the most ghetto shit i've ever seen in my life. <laughs> global warming am i right Ugh, what am i doing this is harder than i thought it would be what was it global warming best dress Clothes. oh yeah socializing so yeah i feel like if the weather's nice i will i will go out i think before the 17th but if not like i'm not in a rush to i don't want to be doing it loads i mean just in case we have a repeat of the whole like eat out to help out thing which turned out to be not a good idea i literally can't talk and do this at the same time 
this is actually much harder than I thought it would be. That's what she said. I feel like the sexual jokes are going down. There's only so much I can do in one day. Honestly, since like October, I have not been doing great. Like you probably couldn't tell because obviously like I'm not gonna come on my channel and be like, oh I'm depressed. Why the fuck you lying? And also I haven't been officially diagnosed with depression, so I apologize if has I been there the whole time. Oh, those are my childhood side effects. Basically, my mental health wasn't good, but I haven't been officially diagnosed with anything, but I was really low. Especially like between October and like December, I was really like in a bad place. I haven't had bad mental health, as bad as that, like since I was like 15, 16. I don't know if you knew me when I was 15, 16, no you didn't, because that's not the same person. I don't know who that girl is. I don't know her name. I'm not associated with that. I don't know her. So yeah, I was really in a bad place. Obviously the pandemic, plus my living situation. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up, guys. I fucked up, I fucked up. I don't think I've actually like explicitly said the issues in my house. I mean, to be honest, my house is like generally quite dysfunctional, but I don't know if I should say, I think it's fine to say at this point, honestly. I've said how I've been helping out a lot at home and stuff, like more so than I would normally. And I've kind of hinted at it, but I've not as explicitly said. But basically, so my mum actually got COVID back in March and she actually had or has long COVID. She hasn't been able to breathe properly she's been really ill she spent a lot of last year bed bound and stuff as a result since i came back home from uni i've been doing like a lot of the things that she would be doing since looking after them any like motherly instincts i may have had in the past is gone they've literally put me off having children i probably will get it back again because i do like children so much responsibility has been put on me to look after them and like i get in trouble when they fuck up which is not fair it's really difficult to be honest, it feels like I haven't really got a life outside of looking after my family. Ugh, I feel kind of weird talking about like private family stuff, but like it doesn't always feel like I'm the most like appreciated. It can be really toxic at times. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I do attribute most of my like mental health problems that I've struggled with over the past few months on living at home. It's kind of shit when you know you've been helping out and it feels like you're not being appreciated. You know, I just wanna be appreciated. And like I haven't got a life. Obviously, like the pandemic has taken away my life, but then also the fact that like I don't even have time for myself because I do so much in the house and make sure the house is tidy and clean. There's also been other things that have happened in my family that like made it difficult too, which I'm not gonna get into. My mum is slowly but surely getting better, which is really good. I'm really happy for her and about that. Yeah, it'll be nice for her to get her freedom back, I guess. And from that, I'll be able to get my freedom back too. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. You have to have so much brain power for this. I don't have enough brain cells for this okay oh my god that was so difficult before uni i had never like had my own room went to uni and for the first time i had my own space and now coming back to not having that again fucking sucks but that might be changing soon uh, i'm not moving out but other people might be moving out so that might free some space up for me i might be getting my own room soon so watch this space this is really difficult you know another sleeve to do i can't do it should i just like not do it no, I'm gonna do it. I wanna wear this dress. This is a really nice dress. I think I'm gonna just do some more sewing and then I'll show you what I come up with. I'll get back to you in like two seconds. So I'm back and I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that I finished this dress and it doesn't actually look that bad. Up close, it looks very, very shit, but like it looks significantly better. You can clearly see that. Oh, we can't clear the seat because it's out because considering the fact that like i have zero sewing skills that looks decent and i can like 100 percent wear this out whether it's gonna come undone or not only time will tell but i mean i'm happy with this i'm very proud of this like you know when you cook a meal for the first time like a new recipe and like it tastes like dog shit but you still eat it because like you're proud that you made it that's what this dress is right now so yeah happy with that the bad news, however, is that I've lost the pin I was sewing with. I'm literally so scared I'm gonna lose this pin and then I'm gonna like, sit on it. And I said that I was scared of that happening and it happened. And I'm very scared that at some point, if not now, then later on today, I'm going to make one wrong move and I'm gonna accidentally end up sitting on it or stepping on it. And um, I'd rather not do that because I feel like that's gonna hurt. Uh, not as much as it would hurt if, wait, I did that joke already, didn't I? Well, it hurting if I poked myself but I'm not hurting as much as the pain I feel when best dressed left. 
Next item, um, or well, last item should we say. So last item is this jacket. Like I said earlier, I actually did attempt to sew this like a couple of years ago. Clearly didn't work out. I think it might be to do with the fact that it's obviously quite thick. And I mean, this isn't the thickest of strings. So I think when I do this, I'm gonna really have to be really like thorough. But I feel like now I've like practiced on that red dress, I feel like my skills are like very, like very much improved. I feel like I'm actually like an expert now. This isn't coming out, what am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? I feel like I've spent this whole video asking myself what the fuck am I doing. I spent my whole life asking myself that to be honest. Like what the hell do I just spend my life doing? Fuck knows. Since we're on the last item, I'm gonna just continue talking about myself. Let's talk about boys. So obviously with the panini bread, I have been very single. Well, I've been more single than I've been before. And before I was very single. I turned 23 like 92 weeks ago and I've yet to fall in love. Well, actually that's not true. I feel like I've fallen in love, but like not like with a real person that actually like knows I exist. I'm really sad though, I'm actually not gonna lie. I'm a bit heartbroken because I have been using Hinge. If you don't know how Hinge works, basically, oh wait, let me concentrate actually, give me a second. Oh, it's not going in, stop it. Okay, this one doesn't want to go in. I'm not gonna give up though. I will persevere, you can't beat me. I will literally stay here until I'm 90. Oh wait, it's kind of going in. The amount of concentration you have to do for this is actually so, ow, it's actually so annoying. Oh, hurry up, I'm gonna tell my sad hinge story. Can you hurry? Yes! Wait, no, let me, let me not get cocky, let me tie it first. Let me not get cocky like last time. Okay, anyway, uh -huh. back to my sad story. So, if you don't know how Hinge works, unlike Tinder and Bumble where you swipe on people you find attractive or not attractive, on Hinge, you can respond to like an answer, like a prompt, like so an answer to a question or a photo. That counts as your swipe right. Or you can just X their profile and that is like a swipe left. Even though I'm very lonely and I want a boyfriend, I, I'm also terrified of men and I also hate men. I want to overcome my fear of men. Like, I am genuinely terrified. And also, I don't like projection. If I am gonna bother to talk to a boy, it's because they've messaged me first. So I very, very rarely make the first move. But I saw this guy, right? Before I continue my story, actually. So I'm gonna be, I think I said already, but I've got these massive holes in it. Probably gonna do like a double stitch. I don't know what that means. I feel like that's the thing people say in these videos. I'm gonna do my equivalent of a double stitch anyway, and hopefully it'll work out. So yeah, this guy, I don't know. There was just something about him. He just seems really like, Weird. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. All his photos were like taken on film. I think one of the questions were like, oh, you'll meet my family when? And then his answer was like, oh, when I make up with my family. And that's just like, that intrigued me so much. It's like so mysterious. Whenever I do see someone online, like on these apps, I will just like imagine our whole relationship. I will literally like, imagine us talking and meeting and falling in love and like posting each other on instagram and stuff so that's what i spend my time doing as a single person i left a response on one of his other answers i think the prompt was we'll get on if and he said if we're the same type of weird have you ever seen me without this stupid hat on that's weird so i messaged him like oh what kind of weird are you which is so embarrassing. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Um, he never responded. So that's really annoying. I hate rejection. I feel like a clown for giving him the time of day. And I'm heartbroken because I feel like I kind of fell in love with him. And even though I only saw his profile in the space of like two minutes before I, well, maybe 10 minutes because I was like stressing out over like sending the message or not and whatever, but like, I just feel really disappointed that he never messaged me back. Maybe he thought it was a bit basic. Maybe I wasn't cool enough or weird enough for him. I'd love to do like a video whenever I do have my first date. I'm going to document it. Not the actual date, obviously. But I'd love to like talk about like my personal struggles of dating and stuff. Being like as old as I am and having never experienced anything romantic is obviously like... I have like kissed people and like done um, stuff. But like I've not done much stuff and it's funny as well because i am like literally the biggest hopeless romantic have i fucked this up already i feel like i've fucked this up already this summer i want to get a boyfriend or i want to just be a massive slut i'm not sure which i'm picking yet i'm just gonna go with the 
upload to be honest i'm not sure i'm not traveling this year i feel like i'm gonna be in london for the next at least for the next year and a bit this was my plan for this time last year as well to just be in london and just start dating and stuff and obviously with the pandemic and i could have like dated in the pandemic but like i didn't feel like it was sensible or safe to like start a relationship or find a relationship if like i'm gonna be indoors i won't be able to see you but i'm praying that there's no more lockdowns and that things even if they're not like normal normal i'm hoping they're normal enough that like meeting people and stuff will be more possible i'm so lonely i'm so bored it's been tough um so yeah i'll be doing that hopefully um wish me luck uh what am i doing other plans for the summer i have been so happy that it's spring spring is so sexy i have been living for seeing all the leaves come back on the trees i've literally been so obsessed seeing everything come to life and also being able to enjoy it because this is the first time like ever i think that i've been able to enjoy spring because obviously like spring before this year i've associated it with exams and stress and also my birthday and like last year there was also lockdown as well so i couldn't enjoy it so seeing spring come to life has been absolutely amazing it's so pretty i think before this year i would have said that i loved autumn and winter what no i don't like winter i would have said i like autumn and spring equally now i oh spring is that bitch spring obviously summer's that bitch but like spring's that bitch too you know what i mean so really happy that spring is here and doing its thing but summer guys i am so excited for summer i am gonna be 100 doing loads of traveling in the uk i'm gonna have loads of cottage core adventures that's like my new personality trait i've been looking up different like countryside areas near me or different like green spaces i just want to find a random empty field and i want to just vibe do you know what i mean just vibe in the grass and just run around in the flowers and just pretend i'm isabel page who i'm obsessed with i'm literally her biggest fan i also want to do some uk trips i want to go to brighton for a weekend i want to go to liverpool but i would only go with my friend who studies there but she's graduating this summer hopefully of course she's gonna graduate she's amazing if you're watching this girl hey she said that she might begin a flat there and if she does i will be following her so that'll be super fun oh uh, that's not secure that is not secure you're insecure i mean whatever mm. i also bought tickets with my uni friends to go to park life which if you're not from the uk it's a festival to be honest i bought them on their premonition that we probably won't go but if we did go then like cool but i mean seeing how things are going things are going actually like surprisingly well with everything with the vaccine and stuff i literally i'm so excited at the prospect of going to a festival i'm annoyed though because like i'm not gonna lie i did want to go on saturday because megan the stallion is playing and i love her i'm literally obsessed with megan the stallion but it's fine we're going on the sunday instead so that's sad but it's okay because i'm sure i'll see megan another time in the future but to be honest i'm just grateful at the chance i could potentially be at a festival like this year that's insane i've got my very first club ticket or a rave ticket for october that's not summer but i mean that's also exciting as well i'm gonna be so gassed if that happens because oh i have missed raving clubbing all that shit also i want to get a job even though in that video if you've seen it you should watch it i think i posted it but in that video i spoke about how i don't want to work and i don't like the idea of working and stuff but i do want to get a job because the universal credit money is not like it's enough for me i'm a single person i'm not doing much. i think because of the pandemic i've not been spending that much but like obviously when it gets to like summer and stuff and things are going to be more open and i want to be able to do stuff and also the fact that i live in london and everything's so expensive like i breathe and i've spent 10 pounds i do want my financial situation to be better i have been applying still and looking and stuff but also i'm worried though that if i get a job i'm not gonna have as much time for youtube and stuff especially because like i said so much of my time is already taken up looking after my family i only get a part-time job um so hopefully the time balance out the time that i spend looking after my family would be given to my job so i'd still have the same amount of time for youtube and stuff basically finished this now this is definitely gonna become loose again i 100 percent can tell i think i'm just gonna go and get a fix that of dry cleaners to be honest but i just really wanted to wear this jacket because i've been wearing my like my winter coat which is very 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 warm and like this is the perfect like thickness where like it's good for like spring days that are a bit chilly but like i don't need something proper warm this is the end result so i mean it's closed up but i mean it's not it's not good there are definitely gaps 
knots and this thread isn't the thickest and it's probably gonna break again which i'm looking forward to at least it's wearable so yeah i'm definitely gonna be starting to wear this which i'm really excited for because i love this jacket it's such a nice jacket i love this jacket so much i've missed it so these are the final pieces this is probably the worst one in terms of like stitching methods even though this one probably most likely to break i think it's because of the thickness of the denim i think if this was thinner this would have came out better i should really go back and do this again with more thread i might do that at some point later on but for now it's fine so this is very likely to break again but it's fine and these are only like house trousers i wear them around the house i'm actually most proud of this this turned out really good i'm really excited to wear this dress i wore this in my summer lookbook last year and i've not worn it since because of the sleeves oh and i wore this in my uh oh i wore actually <gasps> i wore this and this in my movie lookbook so that's cool i forgot to say in that video as well because i obviously i wore this jacket and had like a massive hole in the sleeve i didn't say anything but like that was kind of embarrassing but yeah i'm really excited to wear these clothes oh well obviously i'm gonna wear these regardless but this dress especially and this coat i'm so excited what i'm more excited about though is hopefully the fact that best dressed will now understand that i'm not fucking around i'm here to take a crown as that bitch of youtube honestly best dressed is such an inspiration to me and i really hope that even if she doesn't see this video i really hope she does come back because i miss her she inspires me so much she's obviously inspired so many people her as a person her in terms of her artistry just her ladies and gentlemen her I can't wait for her big return. Let's manifest this guy. She's gonna come back. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have made it this far, then you should subscribe. Especially if Best Dressed doesn't plan on coming back, then you have me. So just subscribe, innit? Don't forget to like this video and comment down below how you think I did. Give me a score between one and five. One being delete your channel and five being you are Best Dressed. I don't see a difference between you and Best Dressed. You are the same person. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day looking for the other pin that I've lost and hope I don't stab myself accidentally. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. Oh, don't come at me. That type of insanity You know that's that shit I don't need Sometimes I feel like